had to do something, so in that moment, I became a soldier. When I first joined the Navy, I knew someday I could fight. I was a writer who had an opinion of the war. I was a brave soldier who fought in the war. I wrote the Constitution for America's well-being. I had a thirst for independence. I was very rich and financed the Revolutionary War. When I learned how to sew, the next thing I know, I was sewing the first American flag. I wrote a newspaper about helping draft the Declaration of Independence. I gave my husband solutions to the war. Commander-in-chief of the Continental Army, I served bravely. I was hot-headed, and I knew I had something to say about it. I was a black rider who had confidence. Well, when I resigned and Burgoyne invaded, I just knew I had to help. When I was 14, I inherited to the Virginia Bar and Practice Law. I was determined to share the Constitution with everyone. Because the colonies threw the tea into the harbor, I had to do something. I wrote about unfair British rule and never stopped. The people needed to know what was happening in the war. I started to write and never stopped. My father died in the Seven Years' War, and this was my way to make him a legacy. I painted the Boston Massacre. I was a hard worker and a mother. I knew to never give up.